One thing that I think I really struggle with and that I'm keen to get better at is woodland photography. Living in New Brunswick, one thing we have no shortage of are beautiful old woodlands and some plantations because of our forestry industry. I decided to come out this morning, try my hand at some woodland images, primarily because I have the time to do it, I want to learn, and there could be some pretty good conditions. There was a crazy amount of rain last night. We had some pretty serious thunderstorms. It's a little bit warmer this morning, so there's all kinds of fog laying around and they're calling for rain. So it could be a really nice moody morning in the woods. I'm gonna try and avoid this stuff. <laughs> Look at this. There's all kinds of lovely tall, straight trees. So there's bound to be an image here somewhere. I just need to find something that jumps out to me or that stands out. Just two seconds after I filmed that last clip, this is gonna be a lovely image. And I'd like to take credit for it. However, it was my partner. She said, that would make a nice image. She's right. Gonna be a pretty straightforward image, just shooting directly in front of me here. Um, using the trail sort of as the leading lines in the foreground. Beautiful straight pine trees along the edges of the frame. And then sort of to a, a crack <laughs> going up uh, towards the sky. And I'm trying to frame it so that there's not really much light poking through at the top. Because um, I really want to accentuate the, the greens versus the dark, co dark contrast of the, the brown trees. So I just found my second composition, and I will say that this one was my own idea. It was. So we're surrounded by all these very tall, very straight trees, and I did something I don't normally do, which is look directly up. And it looks super cool. So I'm just taking images straight up, a couple different compositions um, with a high shutter speed, just to kind of get those branches silhouetted. And I think it turns into some really cool images, so I'll share my, my two favorite with you now. Morning in the woods is quite nice so far. Those two images I captured, mind you, might not be the most uh, textbook woodland images, but I'm quite happy with them. And still, super surrounded by gorgeous woods. Um, they were just keeping going. I wish there was a little bit of fog in here. That's okay, can't have everything. It's just starting to rain a little bit now, so that might bring out a little more drama and atmosphere in the woods. And I'm excited for that because I'd really like to get an image um, sort of looking into the forest. Well, 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 I think I've found the subject in the woods I was looking for. There's a light haze and fog rolling through, and I just stumbled across this bad boy. So I think, I'm thinking one of two things, either photograph from here, although I see this small log there being a possible issue. So what I'm going to do is try and frame up an image here, um, use these ferns in the foreground, and then that really cool old uh, root ball as the main subject of the image. So what I've got right now is sort of, well, vertical composition with the ferns in the foreground uh, and then the root ball as the main subject. It's pretty nice. I like the different colors of green and brown on the, on the wood, but I'm, I'm struggling to make it, you know, more clean and less cluttered, and which is sort of my main issue with uh, woodland photography. Um, but I think, I think it's okay. I'm gonna try and get up closer now and get more of a detailed shot with sort of the scraggly wood and the different colors and textures. So it's definitely not perfect, but I think it might be a slight improvement on the previous one that was a bit farther away. And I'm sort of just focusing in on these greens and browns with these nice old squiggly branches. I have it in manual focus just because it's uh, a little close and I want to make sure that the, the tree's in focus. Um, but, you know, I, I, think it's, I think it's better. It's less noisy and 
I'm fairly happy with it. As we were coming around that last trail, I started hearing the river and I got excited because I thought I was gonna be able to go down and hang out by the river. Turns out, I cannot. I do not feel like scrambling down that vertical drop this morning. Well, I just needed to take an image of that. Those little fungi with the vine wrapping around and then to top it all off with that little beetle in the middle, I couldn't pass that up. Apparently, we're on a bit of a limestone bedrock formation right now, so there's lots of naturally occurring sinkholes, which that is one of them. So I've gotten pretty low, and I don't think this image is super spectacular, it's not like amazing, but what I like about it is because you can see the broken portion of the tree on the bottom, and then the trees around it, it kind of it looks out of place, like the fallen tree looks like it doesn't belong there, so I think it makes for an interesting enough subject and you're kind of like, you're bouncing around the frame trying to figure out how that tree fits in. I'm also just gonna quickly frame up the, the exact same image, but in a landscape orientation. I personally like landscapes more. It's a shame that social media and the general public have decided uh, vertical images are better. I might have to eat my words on that one. I think the portrait orientation image may be a little bit better, but that's just from here. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I will uh, share my, my preferred image with you now. standing in the rain, in the sunshine somehow, surrounded by poison ivy. But I've had a great time photographing this morning out in the woods. I got a couple images I'm quite happy with. No keepers or award winners, but uh, definitely practice and it's, I'm gonna be able to reflect on them and think about what I could do differently in the future and what I like and dislike about those images. And I hope you like this video. Hopefully I'm keen to do more woodland photography in the future. My glasses are steaming up. It is so humid. Um, yeah, I'll be doing more woodland photography in the future. Hopefully to be able to improve and uh, I'll see you on the next one.